Hey guys, I've been scouring the YouTube looking at different shop storage ideas. I found a few that I've really liked. One of them is from Tab Left Workshop. He's got a really great design on a hammer holder and I've watched the video and he doesn't really talk through it, just kind of goes through the motions of building it, but he doesn't give us any dimensions or anything. So I thought this is a great design and you know I'd like love to help people out and have them build it so I went ahead and I made some sketch up plans for it from what I got out of the video this is a prototype that I made works pretty well but we're gonna improve it using my plans we're gonna rebuild this thing I've got a lot of the pieces cut out so let's go on and get into the video and I'll show you how it's done and then if you want the free plans stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you how to get them so your next part First you got your foundation, then you're going to take your spring portion and you're going to set that on top. And you only need six springs because the, the end piece won't have a uh, mechanism. Then you're going to have these right angle pieces. These are two and a half by two and a half, three quarters of an inch thick. And if you line this hole up, it's three eighths of an inch, three eighths of an inch to get your center. You'll line that up, you'll lay this in there. And then the next piece you're going to want to do is your cap, is what I'm calling it. And you'll line that up on top. And then once you get all that, that's what will sandwich your piece together. And you'll, as you can see, and then that interlocks on this part here. And that creates the hold so this won't sag and hold your hammer. First thing I did to the foundation piece here was to go ahead and glue my shims to it. I just used just spray contact uh, cement um, and that just holds that and then you know once you put your wood glue on that'll bond just fine because the business card is uh, two inches wide which fits this which is great and uh, then you're gonna lay your springboard on top and then for your top cap I went ahead and glued uh, some pieces onto the bottom so then that will give you your shim already and that will give you your distance so that your spring will be free. So that's how I'm uh, shimming up the top and the bottom. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take one of your long two and a half inch finish nails. Make sure it's nice and straight because that will help with the hinge point. You're going to take your right angle piece, just set it in there. There's no glue at this time. Then you're going to put some glue uh, you can either put it on the, the top piece or the springboard, whichever you want. You can glue that on there a little bit. Then you're going to take your nail, put it through your top piece. And you probably want to move this out to an end so you because the ends are going to stick out. Slide this down till it goes through the hinge hole. There we go. So the hinge hole, push that down for now. Square it up. Shoot those in. And now your spring piece is set. And then once we get them all done, I'll take and drive these heads all the way in with a hammer. And then you're just going to repeat that process. And just to give you an up close, this is how cool that works. I mean, that spring works awesome, doesn't it? It's really a great idea. And then it uh, holds the hammer right here. And you've got all this distance for your hammer handle. Now, as you can see, the heads are still sticking up. I've got it hanging off the workbench. You're going to have to trim off the bottom as well. But what I want to do is just those heads flush when you do that now it's nice and even across there but you can see the springs work great and so the hammer is just gonna hit that and lock in so the last step you want to do is however you want to do it cut these points off and I'm just 
since this is the bottom, you're not really going to see it anyway, and it's it's a shop project. And just that fast, now it's all even and ready to go. The last step you want to do is mount this to a board, whatever your choice, to hang it on your wall. Well, you can see I've got it all mounted. I've got my hammers in there. I just screwed it to a board and screwed the board to the studs in the wall. So when you grab out a hammer, the little tab shows that it's uh, open, but a little bit better indicator, I think, would be to paint this like a bright yellow or red. That way you can know that real easily, hey, I identify that's the spot. So that's a little suggestion I'm going to do to mine. So I thought I'd bring that up. I'd like to thank Tab Left Workshop for coming up with the concept and the design of this. I'm trying not to copy him exactly. This is just me taking his video, coming up with a set of plans and making my own. And I'm just sharing that with you guys. I'm not trying to take credit for his design. So. If you would, go over to Tab Left Workshop and check out his video. I'll leave a link in the description. And uh, hit that like button if you would, if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm always trying to make new things. And, uh, you know, if you would like the free plans, here we go. I appreciate you sticking around to the end of the video because here's how you get them. You send me an email at backyardwoodshop at gmail.com and just say, hey, I want the free hammer holder plans and I'll get those out to you and I try to do it in 24 hours or less so I appreciate you and until the next time I see you in the backyard